84 in Hagestown, Martinsburg 84, Cumberland 84 right now for your temperatures. Much cooler than yesterday morning, but nice and pleasant for the start of the day with dew points also on the comfortable side. We have 63 in Hagestown, Martinsburg 60, Winchester 64, and temperatures remain rather warm throughout the week. And a few gusty storms this afternoon and into the evening. It will be mainly dry after today. Rain showers have already cleared out for most of the Hagerstown region, but more are on the way. We'll let you know when after the break. Areas highlighted in green, of course, we have a marginal risk for severe activity um, that includes um, your eastern panhandle and everything east of that, Washington County, and even down in your Shenandoah Valley. Severe thunderstorm warning for Anne Arundel County. So these areas will be in effect for some heavy rain showers, damaging wind gusts, 60 miles or greater, and possibly some flooding for those areas. Heavy rain showers moving along I-66 near Warrington, Luray, and moving up closer to your I-70 corridor and I-70 into your eastern panhandle. Do you have a severe thunderstorm warning for the areas highlighted in your yellow for Washington County, Frederick, Nice and humid down south, most of that moisture is coming into the region. But up north, we are indicated that that high pressure, the dry air, is moving in, which is why we see the 50s in most of the region. And welcome back to your forecast. I'm meteorologist Aisha Murphy. Right now, we have a flash flood watch in effect for the areas in Montgomery County, Howard County, parts of Baltimore, and Anne Arundel, you are also in effect for this flash flood watch. But keep in mind that we do have a severe thunderstorm warning for Anne Arundel and parts across the Chesapeake Bay onto the eastern side of Maryland. The potential threats will be gusty winds above 60 miles an hour, heavy rain of course, and possibly some hail in the areas with more severe activity. This stationary boundary across the mid-Atlantic is in formation which is going to fill in some storms. Combined with the low pressure, it's going to keep us moist throughout the weekend into Sunday evening and finally we potentially can dry out by Monday. And for your local radar, here is that system of rain that's currently across the, the Anne Arundel counties, giving them a lot of activity tonight. The blinking areas, blinking boxes, indicating the severe thunder activity, severe thunderstorm warning actually, is in effect for you all until 10 p.m. tonight. Moving on to our future tracker, this is why we have storms. A lot of that suddenly flow, the moisture from the south, combined with the heat, is keeping you all in favor for a lot of thunderstorm conditions tonight which is why you will see a lot of severe activity and a lot of moisture throughout your evening into your night. By midnight, we clear out and things look a little bit better into the Sunday morning as we clear out with clouds on the way back into the forecast on Sunday afternoon. Some storms in some key spots suddenly flow again. Warm winds from the south will bring in a little bit more storm activity. Leesburg, 7 p.m., watch out. You all are in that forecast and Later on Monday, we will see a dry up with clear conditions. Nice day to go out and get your plants done. 86 for your high, partly cloudy skies. And 5 p.m., more clouds and showers. Maybe an isolated storm will roll in with a high of 88. We also see heavier rain as well. We got red indicating heavier showers, more intense rain. And we also see some lightning across most of our radar. These storms are a little bit on the severe side. So keep in mind that if you're indoors, Stay away from your windows, bring your plants inside. We have a stationary boundary sitting right above the mid-Atlantic. Low pressure attached to it will circulate some winds and moisture from the south and keep us nice and wet for most of the weekend. 